fighting i would like to explain uh, one of the critical topic in varaki difference between realized gain and loss accounts versus unrealized gain and loss accounts in abs and fusion so let us take example we are implementing for uh, varaki for mahindra company mahindra manufacturing the tractors and equipments from the organization level so we defined the ledger primary ledger currency as a inr so if you take the example ap mahindra company procured or purchased material from us country with 1000 dollars one item so that vendor will send the invoices to mahindra company with the usd as a invoice ap user will create invoice with the usd with the particular date and uh, inr exchange rate 83.4 then entry is the item expense or material debit liability credit 1000 as a entered currency ledger currency accounted currency is the 83400 inr it will update trial balance report ap and gr then payment type today is the due date when i am trying to make the payment gl team uploaded exchange rate or conversion rate 83.8 so 40 paisa is like uh, exchange rate differentiated so 1000 dollars into 40 paisa 400 inr as a less so payment time entry will record liability as a debit 1000 dollar cash clearing as a thousand dollar as a entered currency accounted currency will compare realized loss will be 400 this will be recorded in ap application in functional currency that entry will move to gl through create accounting program and post so realized gain and loss accounts will default from in ap application common option for payable procurement option or bank account level if you take the year example if you do the foreign currency invoice creation receipt creation realized gain and loss accounts will be recorded in year that will move to gr then when it comes to revaluation unrealized gain and loss accounts revaluation will perform foreign currency journals which is unpaid, which we imported from subledger. GL team or GL accountant will perform the revaluation at month end, 31st of the December. But my transaction recorded from AP to GL, item expense debit, liability credit 83.4. But uh, month end date, that conversion rate becomes 83.9, 50 paisa different. That 50 paisa into 1000 dollar which will become 500 and INR as a unrealized loss. Liability will be increased 500 INR as a function currency that will be recorded as a separate journal entry posted. It will impact the your functional currency trial balance report. So revaluation will be performed at a month end to compare the exchange rate to identify the unrealized gain and loss account. So once posted, run the trial balance report, check the balances. That entry posted in the present month, in December month. Next month, once we open the period, we will reverse the general entry through manual or we will be already configured reverse criteria set based on the revaluation category source that entry will be reversal and posted in GL because that unpaid invoice will be make the payment in the next month due date that time it will record realized gain and loss account. So realized gain and loss will be happening AP and AR application GL unrealized gain and loss account. 
So this two will be impacted the reports. Thank you.